And we're back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Technical challenges. Okay, let's carry on. For those of you that uh, we lost, we're now back. And we'll let the hydride just out just a little. I'm just gonna use a little bit of hydro mist throughout the hair. Now let's get back into it. The great thing about the hydro mist, it's gonna add a little bit of uh, slip and it's gonna add some sheen to the hair. It's gonna make it easier for the styling. Notice how I carry everything in. I can see and feel the hair as it disappears behind my fingers. So razor cutting really helps you with your feel because uh, and you can see here how open the razor is because you can see what we're creating in the, in the fingertips. We're gonna use the flat of the blade. Rotate from side to side and we're gonna to continue to move through. Now the shape is really starting to connect. And the phone's really starting to ring. <laughs> Means that we're so popular, everyone wants to call us. Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Salon does not um, open for business until, uh, until noon. The only person that's up in Brooklyn before noon is me, Lauren, Ollie, and the person on that phone. <laughs> Fine teeth off the comb. And now look how much open the stroke is in comparison to where we were before. Very open stroke. And always look at the angle of your fingers where your fingers are pointing so you can see. I know there's gonna be a lot of jump in Ollie's hair. In other words, as the hair starts to dry, there's gonna be some shrinkage. So what I mean is I want to keep some excess length to it. And you work all the way up the back of the head. Working all the way up. We're going to cut the back before we move into the sides. That little bit of elevation. And again, as I comb this hair down, I'm putting my fingers in. I've got all the hair right here. But then as I follow my comb through, following the comb through, I feel the head disappear, and I know the guide is right in there. So I can feel the guide probably a little bit more than he can even see the guide. And the reason is, is because I'm doing a very soft, open guide. So look at how open the blade is here as we're melting that hair away. And then by combing the hair up and from side to side, it's gonna help me see exactly what my shape is looking like. We just came back from uh, Los Angeles. We had a great time in LA. We were in Long Beach for the ISSE show. We had main stage, American Wave certification. We also had a scissor and razor class alongside uh, Joining me was the Orosho creative team, as well as a couple of my ambassadors, Stephen Adams from uh, Moxie Salon and um, David Gatt from Square Root in Albuquerque. Moxie Salon's in Minneapolis. So we had a great time sharing our inspiration. You can check out all of our uh, updates on that show. The updates will be on orosho.nyc.com. So you can check that out. If you're interested, see some of our finished presentations, some of our work, we'll have a show report up. This weekend, I am heading out to West Palm Beach, Florida, and we are gonna be bringing our inspiration to Palm Beach, Florida. We're excited for that. Again, we'll be working on stage with some of our Arojo ambassadors, people that work with Arojo products, and some of our very talented friends and hairstylists. <clears throat> So we're looking forward to being there. We have a great show in the center of West Palm Beach. Uh, and we're in city center at the Harriet Himmel uh, venue, right in the middle. It's a great venue. And uh, the show starts at 6.30 or 7 o'clock. 
and tickets are only $25. Tickets are available at erosioexpo.com. So now working up the head, you can see we kept the sections very simplistic, just classic sections, but you can see how I'm elevating the hair away. And I'm really rotated the blade. Look at how much flat, look at how much softness we're creating in the shape. So it's that softness that's going to make this shape look more modern. And by collapsing the hair, what happens is, is we get more flexibility and more movement in the hair. And you can see, just come to the side here, you see how that just collapses right the way in. Let me see on the camera, and nice and tight. It's great. And you can see the looseness and the softness that we've created. Couple more sections either side. And then we're gonna to start to move into the side. And when I move into the side, I always move into the side closest to the parting. So a very, very open blade, flat to the hair. And it's really good to always comb the hair so you can see how the haircut is actually sitting in. The razor gives you a little bit more flexibility. When you're cutting with a, with a scissor, you really have to stay on line. When you're cutting hair with a razor because you're not putting in any lines, you don't have to stay on line. What you have to do is you have to stay in the sculptural phase. But again, we think it's very important to understand line cutting before you understand taper. That's what I like to call it. I call it taper when I'm working with a razor. So uh, that's an important factor. If you're interested, uh, we do have an amazing scissor class in uh, LA at the end of the month, end of February. We're in February already, can you believe it? We're in February already. I will be, we'll be in LA at the end of the month and I'm teaching a scissor class, a classic scissor class, where we will go through six different scissor haircut techniques. It's all hands-on, 27th. 26th, 27th, 28th. I'm also gonna be there to do one of our Happy Mondays at the Goldwell Academy in Santa Monica. So that's something for all our West Coast friends to be aware of. If you want information on that, go to erosionyc.com and you'll see exactly where we're rolling. Also, if you're interested in picking up a razor, we have a special offer this uh, for the next 24 hours, which is erosiopro.com, and uh, we're going to give you 20% discount code, which is Florida. That's because we're going to Florida. So that's our discount code for this weekend, actually for this 24-hour period. If you're interested in getting a razor, scissors or a brush or even a comb, 20% off on erosiopro.com. So Nick, Ian Graham wants you to share a story about one time when he met you, you were talking about the diversity of techniques by using a razor as well as scissors. And you were sharing a story along the lines of the English have precision and the French have flair. It's like he shared it himself. <laughs> no. No, the story was I met Jean-Louis David many, many years ago in the 90s. And Jean-Louis David was a very famous... French stylist and uh, owner of many, many salons. And um, Jean-Louis de Guy said the best hairdresser would be one, just let me grab a clip. The best hairdresser would be somebody that understood the, understood the precision of the French, sorry, the precision of the English and the flair of the French. And I thought it connected with me a lot. Because I spent the first 10 years working with, uh, the first part of my career working with Vidal Sassoon, really understanding that precision-based technique. But what I always felt 
was that my work was just a little too uh, stiff and static. And what I mean by that is, I felt like I needed to create some flow and feel, and the razor really helped me. Now, and hey Ian, hope you're doing good, man. Good to, good to see that you're checking us out. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm using the edge of the blade again as I start to move into the front and you can see how much we've dropped it down below the jaw Yeah, you can see what we've got there And again, just keep your sections really nice and clean White teeth of the comb Twist rotate clip that hair away make everything look good because your clients always looking right at you She'll be looking at how you operate. She'll be looking at what you what you're doing to her hair, and your whole thing is you have to a make the client feel comfortable. I think a lot of us, when we're doing hair, we often, you know, always have to remember that we're actually changing the way a person looks and feels. So we have that image in our hands, and it's a very personal issue. So when you look professional. It helps you gain that confidence more quickly and you've got to be able to learn how to look at the client in a way where you're not intimidated by the way that she's looking yeah you have to hold that down so now we'll come around here and we'll have a look and we'll see we'll see how we drop that down we'll look for the balance and you can see that we're getting this nice looseness which is exactly what we wanted to to create shape wise I'm going to carry on. Well, I always cut the side closest to the parting first. When you're cutting in the back, the client can't see. And that's when she might get the most nervous, when she can't see. Especially when you're razor cutting, because it feels different from a scissor cut. So, you know, the sooner you can get to the front, the better. So your client can see. Number two, also you can see. Because, you know, it's more interesting to look at the front of a person than it is to look at the back of a person. But we do have to think about how the shape sits at 360 degrees. So you can see how open the razor is. And we're really open razor cutting now, rotating the blade around to create that open stroke while still keeping the integrity in the hair. And you start to get more experienced with the razor. What I mean by that is you'll start to feel kind of more, it's not like when you're cutting lines. When you're cutting lines, you can see if you hit the line or not. When you're cutting soft lines, or when you're putting diffusion into the hair, you're gonna start to get a better feel for the hair. As we come through the back, you can kind of see the guide. It's right here. But it's not a solid guide. It's a soft guide. So nice open stroke. Just collapse that hair away. So Jeff Stump's wondering when are the American Wave products going to be available to oh, wear? Hey Jeff Stump, how are you, man? Uh, Jeff, American Wave products is filling this week. We expect to have it in our in our in our hands, literally in uh, 10 days. Now that all depends on whether California, because it's been made in Cali, whether they can actually get it to us in time. Yeah, because you know how Californians go, man. <laughs> Slow, baby. <laughs> They've already delayed us a hundred times. But it was great to see you in LA, Jeff, and I can't wait to see you in, uh, back in LA at the end of February, and Jeff is gonna be, he owns a brilliant salon in the OC and he's gonna be cutting with me uh, Happy Mondays in Santa Monica on February the 27th. I believe that's Monday the 27th. So Martin G's got a great question. How often are you changing your blade? So I change my blade once every two cuts. Depending on uh, the density of the hair, if the hair's normal, you tend to get two cuts out of every blade. And that's kind of my golden rule of thumb. I don't like to throw a blade away if, if it's sharp. The blades are $14 a box. So what that means, and you get 20 blades in a box. So you can get 40 haircuts out of a box of blades. And with them being 
uh, with them being a disposable blade, you know, uh, you always got like this precision based tool, which is awesome. There you go, that's one side done. So we can see the shape, you can see it comb down. I think there'll be a little bit of diffusion that I'm gonna create towards the end. I've got, I didn't do any kind of shaping. I might go through there. I may pick up a scissor, but I'll wait and see. But that's kind of the shape done. Now it's time for me to go to the opposite side. You doing okay, babe? Oh, great. She's good. <laughs> it's good. All right, so now again, let's just damp this hair down. So Alice Hemingway is wondering, when are you coming to Florida and are you going to be having classes at Premier Orlando? Okay, yeah, we're dead. we just secured Florida yesterday. We're going to, be, well, we're actually going to be in Florida. Florida's a big place. I'm in Florida a lot. In fact, I have a place that I live in Florida. I'm a resident. Um, but I'm never there because I'm always working. Uh, I'm going to be in West Palm Beach on Monday night doing a show right in the center of West Palm Beach. Tickets are $25 available at erosioexpo.com. And I will be in Orlando, Florida. I'm gonna be in Orlando, Florida in, uh, at this trade show. And we are gonna be doing classes. We're gonna be doing American Wave certification and main stage. So we're looking forward to that. We stepped off the trade show circuit for a couple of years because I've just recently expanded. I opened up two new salons. I opened up a brand new school. And this year we're gonna open up our second school. So I've been doing some re-assimilation on my business here in New York. And now that's finished, we're back on the show circuit. We have a lot going on, so if you're ever interested in finding what's going on, the best way to stay connected to us is our social app it's called Arojo Social and you can download that app from the App Store and that's a great way to connect with everything that we do and see all of the cuts the colors the techniques everybody in the Arojo network as well as being involved in all the shows and seminars and classes so that's our connector so now I'm gonna finish this section and then I'm going to take a look and see whether we're, we're balanced. I try when I'm doing something on a little bit more of a, even though this is a, a well-known classic shape, you still want to make it so that it has a very modern feel and finish. So it is much more about the feel and the finish than it is about kind of making sure that every hair is perfect. But now it's time for me to have a look at the front and see where we're at and to check for balance also. And I feel like that's moving in the right way. When you're checking with a razor, because the razor is held, when I'm checking, I use these fingers to check. And when I, I can either look at pieces, but I tend to put the fingers in because I'm feeling for density too. So as I come through here, I want to feel for density and look for balance. And it looks pretty good. Oh yeah. yeah so far so good. Um, so Michelle's job. got a great question. How would you cut differ when cutting natural curly or wavy hair? Well, this hair isn't straight, okay? And curly and wavy hair varies every step of the way. If, if the hair's very curly, I will keep my razor a little bit more closed. And I could also channel through the curly hair with the razor but I would definitively be able to cut with a razor, no problem. The biggest fear with curly hair is you just shatter the ends too much. If you shatter the ends too much, then unfortunately, you do create a little bit too much thinness on the ends of the curls. So, uh, but what you can do is you can do something like this. You can come through and you can channel and channel and channel and channel. And that's what we kind of do with curly hair. I'm going to do a little bit of that refining once I finish the shape because the shape's 90, it's about 85 to 90% done. And then it's time for me to assess and I've got to think about styling. I've got to think about how we're going to finish this hair. What products am I going to use? Knowing that I've already prepped the hair with Hydro Mist, which is the Orojo conditioning spray, I'm going to think about what else I'm going to put into the hair 
to actually style the hair and think about the opportunities with my client. I've been saying this for years and I'll continue to say it, hairdressers are very weak at retailing and it's something that part of our Erosio culture, we really focus on the retail and focus on the take home, focus on the tools that the client's going to need. If she doesn't buy them from you, she's going to buy them from somebody else. So we'll, we're thinking about that right now as I cut through the hair. And even at this point in the haircut, I would be talking to the client and saying, how do you style it? What do you do? Uh, and find out exactly what her styling regimen is. See if I can enhance that with, uh, with some newer product. So Ian Graham is wondering, could you show us the do's and don'ts of holding a razor? I'll do that right at the end as a recap, Ian. Let me finish, because once you're in the flow of your cup, once you're in the flow of your cup, you, uh, you want to stay with it. You know, when you sketch hair, when you do a sketch, you don't do it slowly, you do it quickly. So that's a lot of different strokes. Yeah, and when you're crafting, you're kind of tapping into your creative energy. So when you're creating something, it's not stop and start, stop and start. You know, it's like the artistry in the work. In reference, if you want some really focused, detailed attention on how you hold the razor, on erosionyc.com, we have our subscription. And our subscription is $30 a month, but for complete free, so completely gratis, you have a five minute tutorial of me showing you how to hold the razor, how to control it, and, and doing a little bit of the, not necessarily the do's and the don'ts, because I don't know if there is a, any don't. Yeah, this is our technique. Everyone's got their own technique. So this is our technique. I think it's well, uh, well rounded. I know it's well, well practiced. Uh, when you're working with a straight edge blade, we pretty much pioneered straight edge razoring. Yeah? Another company that did a lot of razor cutting was Bumble. So there's some great razor cutters there. But over the years, we've evolved our technique just that little bit more in a slightly different way. Not better, not worse, just different. So now come around here and let's have a look in the front. So, no, you look in the mirror. <laughs> and you can see, see how good we all look together. Yeah. Yeah. With our nice images. It's a nice sunny day here in New York. So you can see what we've got here. Now, the last thing you want to do is dampen the hair down so that the hair's wet. Because I want to keep this hair in this state. Yeah, because this is the state I want to keep it. I want to see it. So now I'm just again using a little bit of hydro mist. Lighter than water. Comes out in a very fine spray. Just come around here, Lauren. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take some face frame sections and I'm going to just clean up the edges. Clean up the edges just a little. And then I'm going to comb it forward. And I'm just going to tip in. Tipping is using the very tip of the blade. And it's like shading. So if I had a pencil and you shade, this is kind of the concept and the idea. Right here, we're going to knock out the corner with the edge of the blade. And then I'm just going to tip. It's creating just a little bit more diffusion. Diffusion. It's a good job I glued my teeth in this morning. Diffusion. <laughs> Straight down. Edge of the blade. And then a little bit of diffusion. And always combing after each time to see exactly how the hair's looking. Now, if you're interested in American Wave certification, we have our certification coming up on February the 5th. Anyone in the local area wants to get connected to our new texture service. It's not that new, but it's newly trending. Yeah, it grew by over 100% last year. American Wave, we basically created a product and a technique to go with the product. And uh, it used to be called the Perm and now we call it American Wave. If anyone's interested in an Erosio product, 
you want to get connected to a Rojo. We are an independent brand. My company is owned wholly by me. If you want to get connected to a truly independent brand, you can retail and carry a Rojo product and get connected to my company uh, by being a, a, an Arojo retailer. And then in the next 10 days, we're gonna have our brand new line of products. We have a brand new line of products which is called American Wave, which is our new and latest product line, which not only will go along with the service of American Wave, but it's also a product line that can be used for uh, wavy, curly, and textured style. A beautiful, clean, and green product that uh, is coming all the way from California. So we're really excited about that. And we were just presenting that in Long Beach and at the IBE, Indie Beauty Expo, and it got really great. We got a great response from it, and uh, we have a great shine spray called Glint, and uh, that sold out completely. So that was a great hit for us. So just a little tipping, and then it's gonna be time to do some styling. Actually, you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna refine just with a skizzer, otherwise known as a scissor. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little scissor right through the, inter in the interior. So you can see what we've got here. This, you like it, yeah? It's good, it's just, it's what she wanted. <laughs> it's hot. Oh, quick, just while I'm here, for you, Ian, quick, okay? Rotate the blade around, V for victory, place the blade in your fingers, push. Your blade is now working, this motion, and then this is the lock, and this is the load, this is the razor comb. Learn how to rotate. So what you, most hairdressers use this, this finger to hold their comb, but when you're razor cutting, you don't. Because what happens if you use this finger is the blade gets too close and gets loose. See how loose it is? And that's when you'll cut yourself. So lock and load. Let's pick up the Erosio BMAC shear. We're gonna have a quick nibble on the hairline. So let's come through, gonna hold, and I'm just gonna just lightly just refine and chip in. Any loose long hairs that we need to just tighten up. I like to tighten the skin, and then just like I'm playing pool, I like to rest my, the blade on the finger. So just like when you play in pool or Anyone from England? Snooker. And this way, same on this side. Just tightening that up. Now if we look underneath, you see how the hairline grows in? See how that grows in? What I'm gonna do, cause she doesn't need this, what I'm gonna do, I noticed this when I was cutting, I'm just gonna comb against that. Let's just take that away. It's just a little bit of hairline fur and we just take that away. And that just cleans it, makes it just a little bit cleaner. Not gonna affect anything for the shape, just gonna like give it a better fall. And then here, again, tightening up the skin. Not that she needs to have it tightened because she's youthful and her skin's nice and taut. It's coming through. And now what we're gonna do with the scissor is we're gonna come through the back and we're gonna elevate the hair. This is the hair that was hard to cut because this is the pre-existing cut and this is what I like to call sealing the cuticle because when you raise a cut, you do actually taper out the ends of the hair. So when I first started razor cutting in the salon, this was the thing that I did all the time. This was like my safety measure. I like the jagged soft lines of the razor, but I was always concerned if I didn't get a clean enough connection, because my technique was a little, well, my technique was new and I was learning it. It takes years to truly master something. So by working with the, uh, 
the fine teeth of the comb just at the end, you're just going to seal off the cuticle and take care of any loose little hairs that maybe fell away because you may be not quite as precise as you would like to be. Then I'm going to come through this side, always combing the hair in. Body position is something that we'll be studying in Santa Monica when I go out there to teach my classic cutting class. We also have classes here in our New York Academy. We have classes pretty much every week. We have a classic scissor class coming up, Classics 1. It's going to be taught by one of our master stylists, Carmel. And, uh, you know, most of our classes are very heavily based in hands-on. We also have a, an amazing hair painting class coming up. Every class, this class schedule is available on erosionyc.com. We also have Happy Mondays coming up here in, uh, here in New York on the 20th of February. And we're also going to have a new thing that we call Owners Forum. So if there are any salon owners watching this broadcast, you can actually maybe come to the Owners Forum if you're interested in finding out more about how Erosio works its ambassador program. The ambassador program is our program designed and developed for, uh, for salons to carry our product and we're a very uh, inclusive brand so what that means is you know we don't kind of give you any like minimums to spend we're not that kind of a company that says oh you can't carry this unless you spend X we like to work with big salons and independents the only caveat that we're looking for is we're looking for people that want to grow build be successful be professional and help us uh, you know Help us evolve the hair community. That's really what Erosia is all about. I think I've finished the cut. I feel like we got it. And uh, I think it's a great shape for her. And I think obviously we changed it a lot. If you go, you'll see, you know, we have a before shot. We'll see if we can find a before shot. Otherwise, you can check my Instagram out later as I'll be posting the before shot with the after. Now it's time for me to style, so I'm going to use, I don't like to overuse product, yeah, I'm more of like simplistic when it comes to styling. If you use too many products, the client's never going to buy them. I'm going to use what I call my does it all styler, and we have a special promotion because every week we have a product focus. So our product focus this week is on styling whip. This is our does it all styler. And this product is a styling whip, so it comes out as a mousse. Uh, we like to call it a whip, it's lighter. And it's actually going to, um, it contains argan oil, which is known to be one of the best nutrients for, you know, the condition of hair. It's gonna add shine, it's gonna add softness, give it a light hold, not a heavy hold, because I'm not really into a heavy hold, although we do have some heavy hold products when you need to really change the direction of hair. But this is a Rojo Styling Whip. Uh, smells amazing. Linden Blossom is our fragrance. So let me show you. Just a little. <laughs> Don't be scared because we like to use, I like to use a lot of product. It's very light. I'm just going to work this product into Olia's hair. And we make it like a bit of a celebration. Yeah? So as we're putting it in, it's... It's a celebration, that's right, baby. <laughs> so as we're putting it in, hold it in one hand and work it into the hair. Two things are happening. Number one, you're getting great distribution. And number two, you're allowing the fragrance to uh, be consumed by the consumer. And I tend to tell you, a lot of people, you know, that's why it's a sense. Fragrance is a sense, smelling is a sense. So it's important for you to really allow the client, and my products don't smell like candy, yeah? We don't have, we really pride ourselves on our fragrances. I was just in uh, LA for the ID, IBE, the Indie Beauty Expo. I was spraying my brand new product into the air. Actually, I was spraying one of the stylists that was with me. I just got it in at the, the Glint spray from American Wave. A lady walked past. 
She screamed out, what an amazing smell. And I turned around and it was Bobby Brown. So if it's good enough for Bobby Brown, it's good enough for my clients. In fact, Bobby Brown is, she works with the Rojo product because she goes to one of our ambassador salons in New Jersey, gets her hair done and she knows our brand because they use a Rojo product, which is great. I'm now going to use my sock diffuser. Yeah, remember we sell these on arojopro.com. This is a YS Park diffuser. We're going to place this. You don't need to take your nozzle off so you can keep your schnozzle on. <laughs> and uh, we place this over the schnozzle. Has the elastic there that we place on the back of the hair dryer. We sell this to clients because it fits on every dryer, packs flat, and this titanium mesh, even though it's got the, cons the um, even though it's got the nozzle on it, yeah, what happens is this, this, this mesh diffuses out the heat so that it's not hot in one spot. High heat, and now we're just gonna move the diffuser and the hair dryer all around. And I like it to dry all at the same time. Now Lauren's going to be doing all this in colour. Yeah. Lauren's been working with my company for how many months? Like a month and a half. A month and a half. And she's a very talented colorist. And she'll soon be getting, you know, right now she's kind of learning the ropes of the Erosio style. She is training once a, she has a full class of training every Monday. She's doing great as soon as she'll be testing out. Mm -hmm. And then she'll start to take clients here in our... Williamsburg location, which where which is where she's based. Always keep this hand here. Always keep a hand between the dryer and the client. Because that's gonna this this hair dryer is a Parlux motor twin turbo 3800. This hair dryer gets incredibly hot. It's very powerful. We sell little light, it really doesn't change the way that the hair moves. But this dryer gets incredibly hot, so when you keep your hands right in here, you can feel the heat. Don't be scared when you're doing a natural diffuse. In other words, make sure that you can touch the hair in a way where it's confident and comfortable. Rotating that in and around. Always checking in the mirror to see how the, how the hair is looking. And you can see that the hair is starting to expand a little. Your fingers are a great tool for styling. So we're keeping the fingers open, just allowing that hair to dry. And the argan oil within the, within the styling wick is going to give the hair sheen, a little light hold. And now as it starts to get, we're now 80% dry, we start to rough it up just a little. Allow that thickness and volume to come through. Shake it out and don't be scared. Nick and Graham has another question. Um, do you have a razor cutting DVD or one that you would recommend? Yeah, we have. The best thing you can do is get our subscription in. Our subscription is $30, and we have over 100 techniques on subscription. It's $30 a month, and we do have razoring DVDs. They're all online on erosionyc.com, but subscription gives you over 100 techniques and pretty much all the razor cuts. So if you really want to bring it to your skill level, which I think is a great idea, become a great scissor cutter, then become a great razor cutter. I think it's a great idea to have both. And you'll see now how this hair is getting thicker, bigger, and fuller. Head forward a little. Drop the head down and let's shake the root out.
why it's really good to make sure you really play with the hair to see and feel it. You can always use more product at the end. I have a special product for my blondes. So if she's my client, I'm gonna share with her two products. Product A is to put into the hair styling wick, and product B is, uh, is, a fen is another phenomenal product, which is a unique product, a big hero product for Erosio, it's called dry conditioner. And dry conditioner is amazing for our blonde tresses. Just in, in at the root. In at the root. Silk, silkening through that hair. Same here. Turn the dry down just a little bit now, we're 90% dry. In fact, we're like 98% dry. Mm -hmm. So remember, if you're interested in a diffuser, a dryer, erosiopro.com, erosiopro.com. If you're interested in retailing any Erosio products, there, there they are, we have over 40 products in our heritage line, that's what we're calling it, because we've had our line out now for about eight years, and uh, it's getting a lot of success coming its way, which is phenomenal. Sold professionally through salons, and the best thing about that is, you know, you can connect. We don't go through distribution, it's a direct business model, and it's completely tied to education. So you can always check out some of our ambassador salons, find out the success they've had working with the Erosio product. And you can connect with me either on Instagram or you can connect with me on Facebook or you can connect with me uh, on nick at erosionyc.com. Nick, we're getting a lot of hype about these pants. We gotta show them off a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at those. It's my bridges. color, baby. Me <laughs> yeah, and my red. Let's take the cape off now, and uh, I'm gonna pull the, pull the nozzle off. I'm gonna give it a quick blast, and then I'm gonna spray it with some of my dry conditioner. Okay, so this baby blue, oh, this one's empty. That's good, must have mean that someone's using it. So this is our baby blue, this is called, and this one's empty too. It's obviously popular. popular. <laughs> this one's freaking empty too. They're all empty. I think there's a little bit of juice in this. Oh, I can see Claire's coming in from the wings. Claire, you're looking... <laughs> Look at very skinny Claire, Claire with the Thank with you. the support. Skinny the popular Claire. one. This is Claire. She's our team leader here Hello. in our Williamsburg location. Empty. Empty, yeah. Um, Greg C's wondering, do you export to the UK? Not yet, but if Donald Trump gets his way and we get some good trade deals, maybe, yeah. I mean, the key is really we want to go global with our brand, but the reality is, is. As an independent company, I've been holding on to it very closely. And there's a lot of opportunity in America, and that's what I'm really focusing on. But I would like to see it in the UK, and I think that will happen. We're just waiting for the right distributors to come along to help us, someone that we can believe in. So this is dry conditioner, and it adds like a little silk and shine. It's not a shine spray, it's very dry, and it has like a silk. It's actually hydrolyzed keratin. So for Olia, whose hair has been through the war, it is a great product because it's actually gonna strengthen her hair, and it just helps to calm down and silken the hair. So now we'll just finish it. You can run this through. Now you could even get a little wand. Do you know, Claire, guess what? Can we get a wand? Do we have a wand around? Let's get a wand and I'll just do a little wand action. 
Have we got time for wand action? Yeah, it's 11.03. Okay, well, quick wand action. I gotta run back to the city. Because I've got to, uh... I've got a client. So with this carrot, she's got the wand on. This is an Erosia wand. And this is a great way to just add a quick little polish to your clients. Thanks, Claire. Yeah. So I'm taking ribbons, panels, spraying. It's gonna smooth it out. It's a nice shake through here. Let's just give this a second to heat up. So before we do the wand, uh, let's just have a recap. Razor bob, starting through the back, classic bob sections, closed razor cutting, and as we moved up, we started to open, which meant the razor moved more and more open. We did a little, uh, not disconnection, but over direction to keep a little bit more length around the front. We worked with some hydro mist in the hair, which is our conditioning spray. And then what we did was, when we came to dry, we put a little bit of the Does It All Styler, which is our styling whip into the hair and that with the argon oil helps to put moisture and then we put a little bit of just a little bit of the uh refinished dry shampoo well maybe a lot <laughs> the hair was drinking it yeah so now let's just give this just a little bit of a refinement remember if you are in or close to palm beach 25 dollars come and see us Come and share in our inspiration. We will be in Palm Beach this weekend doing our inaugural expose. And that's kind of where we share our inspiration. We'll be on stage with uh, three of our ambassador salons, three very talented uh, and exciting, successful salons from Fort Myers. We got Create from West Palm Beach. We've got Scotch Bonnet. And then also from uh, Wellington, one of our amazing flagship salons is Visions. So come and check us out. Tickets are only $25 available from erosioexpo.com. We're also gonna be going to Philadelphia to do an expo in the, year, in the months to come. That's in early April. Also, think about checking out Erosio Education this month of February. You can get certified in the American Wave. Alternatively, you can come to Classic Cuts here in New York, or you can come and see me in California, where I'm teaching in Santa Monica, Classic Cutting. And I'm looking forward to sharing my technique with all the hairdressers there. You'll see if you just kind of put a little bit more polish just around the front, it just adds a little bit more cleanness. Now that the... Um, the dry conditioner is going to add some silk and protection and it's going to add some strength to the hair. And this is the Erosio uh, wand. This is made by a great company out of California, Enzo Milano. And uh, they make great wands and they make all of our wanding irons. So just a little bit of polish there. We'll just do a little bit of polish on this side. If you're interested in tools, Remember, we have a special promo this week, uh, this for the next 24 hours on erosiopro.com and the discount code is FLOWRIDER, otherwise known as Florida. When you are wanding, it's just a question really, of mapping out how you want the curl to, to sit around the face. Yeah, this wand actually comes with a glove, um, but I've got tough fingers. And the, the ones are good because they're different from the curling irons and they're really good for the consumer because it's uh, new for them to work with. It's easy, they don't have any clips to worry about. So when you have clips to worry about, what happens is it's harder to work. So you just wrap and you just create a little bit of polish in the hair. Just create a, you don't want to make it overly done. It's kind of like loose and beachy. So just a little twist allows you to get that little beachiness in there and a little bit of polish around the front.
break that up. And remember, if you're ever passing through New York City, always feel free to come by and see us because uh, we've got three great salons here. Cosmetology School. We have three salons, Salon in Soho, Salon in Tribeca, and a salon here in, in Brooklyn, Williamsburg. So feel free to come by and visit us anytime. We have a lot of nice people that work here, and we always welcome hairdressers or anybody really into our world just to say hi and share our kind of ideas. We'll put that down and we'll just add a finishing touch. And it'll be good night from me <laughs> and good night from him. So there you go. So this is our razor, our razor blonde bombshell. And I hope you really enjoyed it. It was fun cutting it. And uh, we're gonna take some pictures now and I'll put them on Instagram and you can check it out later on Instagram and I'll put the before on and we look forward to seeing you and I gotta head back to New York because I got a client to do. <laughs> so thanks very much for checking us out. We'll see you this time next next week, ten o'clock, Brooklyn Live. Thanks a lot and thanks to Lauren. Bye.